All right, next question from somebody asked, what are some actual steps to letting go? Yeah, so for me, um, a lot, what I coach on too is, I mean, it's, I'm a wellness coach. And so I think a lot of it is just working on your yourself, working on your own wellness, your own well-being, your mindset. Um, what I see a lot of times too is, when people can't let go, they're so still, I mean, kind of like what you just said, you know, you were married for how many, whatever amount of time. And there's that, not codependency, but you're just used to being with somebody else. And so when you're not, you're still like, well, what are they doing? What, what are, you know, what, 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 and you're checking social media or, you know, follow or asking friends, or if you're in a mutual group, you know, hearing what, oh, well, I just ran into so-and-so and, oh, I think they're dating. And I saw it and, and they get consumed by that. Well, how are they doing? And it's like, you kind of almost just have to rip the band. -aid. Yes, there will be some time of that, you know, especially in early on, you're questioning like, well, how are they moving on or what are they doing? But if you just focus on your life, like, okay, we're done. Um, that's their life. That's great. And wish them all but nothing but happiness and just work to find your own happiness. And I think when you really work on yourself internally, and find take the time to realize what makes you happy that will help you let go and move on and move on with confidence and positivity and so you know just starting with what brings you joy you know and i'm a big proponent of working out and movement and nutrition um that's what propelled me through my separation divorce um so finding, you know, a new community, whether you know is that a gym or some neighborhood you know community um divorce communities <laughs> and find something that can help you move forward in the right direction rather than being in a crowd that like pulls you down. Cause we all know there's those that exist too. And you around, maybe it's existing friend group and they just, they constantly just talk in circles. And if you stay in that circle, that's where you'll stay. But if you force, be mindful of like, no, I respect them, but I need to change. I need to shift um, and find something new that brings you joy that can help you know, help you move on and let go kind of of that, you know, what if, or what are they doing? Um, so I'm a big proponent of, you know, working out, moving your body. So steps for moving on. I mean, like day one, put on your phone, you know, or wake up. I'm a big proponent of gratitude journaling as well. Get up, just put your mind where you want it to be. Not so much the past, but where you want to go forward. Like, what are you grateful for in the moment? What are you having to look forward to? Like, what are three things that you can do today that will make today a success that will bring you joy, you know, and do those three things. And then you're constantly forward thinking and then maybe put on your earbuds, go for a walk, listen to a podcast or a self-development book on audible, take a walk in the neighborhood, um, clear that energy, clear your mindset line up some plans with friends or community or, you know, another like workout environment or something like that. So just keep moving forward, let go of the past. I mean, I know it's easier said than done, but when you, when you put in the steps and work with a coach, you'll get there sooner. Um, but yeah, I think the steps would be start with gratitude, some kind of movement and maybe shift, um, find some new community groups too, that will help, you know, allow you to move forward rather than stay, stay stuck. Yes. Small steps, you know, get some yeah. small wins that walk around the block yeah, is like so actually really powerful. I constantly remind myself when I'm sitting in it, just get outside, walk around the block, listen yeah. to music. That's enough to at least change your, change your state. Absolutely. Uh, one little thing that you mentioned that I'll add the social media checking, that's mm -hmm. a new dynamic, you know, for 15 years ago, we never had any of this. I suggest, even though it's painful for a lot of people and it feels, you feel bad about it, a unfollow or a block even block. It, it seems like an extreme thing but your brain just cannot take mm -hmm. all that in even if it's like a nice picture of your ex like you know on vacation it gets your head spinning so at least for a little while i always recommend you know just just do an unfollow and yeah. talk to them in real life how we did forever yep i couldn't agree more yeah and it may take some time to get there but eventually you'll get there and yeah and that goes right. for like family members as well. It's that, you know, the ex-in-laws, you know, if you need to do that too, like go a few more steps to, to unfriend and just, yeah, right. el eliminate that. Yeah. It's taking about care of yourself, not necessarily yeah. worrying about other people. Yep. 